Ah, Jinx versus Harley went well, we got the dub, and now I can relax. Nobody wants a prediction about the 50th Marvel vs. DC episode anyway. I wouldn't normally say nothing could ruin this, especially after last season, but you know what? I'm feeling brave today. Nothing could... HA! You thought there'd be an interruption or phone call, as if... I know I deserve that. Okay, what's a stupid plot-related reason why I'm doing this prediction? Hi, Ten Ten. Oh, Mario. Hey, man. It's been a while. How you doing? I'm good. Just got out of the hospital after last prediction. Thanks for that, by the way. Yeah, sorry about that. Eh, well, not really. Honestly, you deserved it. But semantics. So how you doing? I'm just getting ready for the prediction. And you want my help? No. Well, good for you. I wish you luck. Uh, by the way, when did you get the recording equipment for this? Oh, I didn't. I'm inside your house again. You know what? Whatever. Just record in there and get out, okay? And don't touch anything. Sure. Not a problem. Uh, die, you King Kong wannabe! This is for kidnapping my girlfriend, and this is for when you hit me with six red shells, and this is for charging $40 for Diddy Kong, and mine! Mine will okay. be! I... I... I just don't even have words anymore. Three days later. Okay, let's see what he did this time. Mario, I'm here to help with the prediction. Dear God, what did you do? Um, I might have sort of tried to spell from the book I was researching. <laughs> you turned yourself into a magical girl. Bruh, you're trash at this. Every researcher knows not to touch the spell book. Why do I feel 700 pounds lighter? I might have cast the enchantment on your whole house with my magic. Oh, I also can't resist the urge to say that. Well, at least we're on theme for the episode, I guess. I'll find a way to fix this later. For now, let's focus on my magic. I mean their magic. Great, I'm doing it too. I uh, just in the skit. Next scene. What's up, YouTube? Ten Ton here. And today, I'll be joined by... Me, Mario. And together, we'll be predicting the next time on Death Battle, Scarlet Witch from Marvel Comics versus Zatanna from DC Comics. These two magic ladies are some of the strongest sorcerers in their respective universes. And this fight has a ton of potential to be an interesting and creative match. While I think we could have enjoyed a break from DC, I'm still hyped to see this. Scarlet Witch is a character I enjoy quite a bit, so I'm looking forward to seeing her win. Did you just spoil who you think you're going to win? So? It's beyond obvious. Eh, you might want to read what I've found. Eh, it won't change anything, but sure, why not? Zatanna will be first. The amazing Zatanna! Sap. You always shut up! Anyways, Zatanna's stats, like most DC characters, are highly impressive. She has directly stated she could destroy the entire universe. So I kept up with Wonder Woman, who is, at worst, faster than light. And she has tanked hits from Wonder Woman and other higher tier DC characters, who should be planetary in power. Zatanna, being a sorceress, naturally focuses on magic. Specifically, reverse magic. To cast her spells, Zatanna must say her spell in reverse. She has dozens, if not hundreds of spells. We don't have the time to go into all of them. But her most notable abilities related to magic are flight, teleportation, reality, space, and time warping, invisibility, transmutation, control over elements, telekinesis, illusions, and healing magic. Zatanna can also use sign language to cast her spells if she were to become unable to speak. Hey Tenton, didn't you study sign language? Yeah, I took some classes on it in college. Why do you ask? Well, I got a question. How do you sign bird? <laughs> I'll give you a sign, all right. Uh, simple. Just raise up your middle finger in a fast and aggressive motion. You get extra cool points if you do it with both hands. Sweet. I'll show it to Peach later. Ah, revenge. It's always best served with a good side of spite. Back on topic, Zatanna is skilled in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, and Dr. Fate has referred to her as one of the strongest match users in the universe. Zatanna has displayed quite the collection of feats. These include affecting John Constantine with her magic, she has beaten Lobo in a fight, fought off a son of Trigon, teleported two whole city blocks, she was once used as one of Dr. Fate's avatars, she held Aquaman in place with magical chains, and she has matched a blast from a green lantern ring with her magic. See, Ten Ten, not too easy now, is it? Well, we must also keep in mind that Zatanna must be able to talk or sign to cast magic. She must also concentrate fully on a spell to cast it, and any small errors can disrupt her magic. 
It also had her magic countered by Joker, Deathstroke, and other Batman villains. That is quite the blunder, and it's happened multiple times. Well, regardless of any faults she might have, she's still one of DC's finest magic users, and one mage who is magic should not be underestimated. The lovely Scarlet Witch. Omega Simp. Yeah, at least mine will still be alive after next week. We will see. Scarlet Witch has matched beings like Thor. She was able to damage him, and her barriers were able to block attacks from him. A being who is able to destroy planets with his casual punches. Not to mention she has far better scaling, but we'll save that for later. Based off her fight with Thor, she should be scaling to a planetary level of defense and offensive power. And she should have light speed scaling as well. Like Satana, she has a large list of spells. We will not be discussing them all for the sake of time. Here are the highlights. She can fly, control gravity, use telekinesis, telepathy, can hypnotize people, she can control elements avatar style, erase a foe's memories, and manipulate their senses to see things that are not really there. Wanda has also quite the selection of feats. She was able to overpower the Phoenix Force and made a Celestial disappear. She had help for both of these feats, but she was still able to affect an Outerversal level being. Uh, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yes. Yes, you are. Scarlet Witch kept up with Quicksilver, who is effortlessly faster than light. Thanks to being a master of chaos magic, she can also manipulate probability. If there is a 0.0000001% chance of her opponent dying from brain failure, she can make even the most unlikely event like that almost a guarantee with a wave of her hand. That's n not that, that impressive. Cope. Well, she has also created pocket universes, has rewritten time and reality on a planet-wide scale, and she fought off nearly all the Avengers at once when she lost control of her powers. Wait, what? Yep, this girl's power is insane. She's so strong that she was able to disrupt Dormammu's power in his home dimension, where he is far more powerful than he is in our world. Her powers are also tied to her emotions, so when she's pissed off, there is no telling how strong she can become. Lastly, she's also received extensive training from Captain America in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and Doctor Strange has assisted her in increasing her magical abilities. Well, that's great and all, but Wanda's powers tend to be insanely inconsistent. She also isn't all there and has a tendency to lose control in stressful situations. Well, regardless of any faults, the Scarlet Witch is one of, if not the strongest asset on the Avengers team. God help you if you see this witch's magic coming at you. Well, I guess it's time to recap. Yeah, I'll go first. With everything laid out, based off what we have so far, I would say my opinion has not changed, if at all. Scarlet Witch overall is just a way more powerful character based off the stats that she has and the feats that we've looked at. Not to mention, she also likely has more experience compared to Zatanna, just because she's an older and more recognizable character. Also, the ability to manipulate probability is just flat out broken and gives her way more versatility in a majority of scenarios when compared to Zatanna. While their speed, arsenal, and durability are arguably similar enough that you can definitely argue that maybe Zatanna is faster and maybe the Scarlet Witch is better off when it comes to the durability, it doesn't really matter overall at the end of the day. Zatanna's only real advantages that are definitive based off my research is that she is likely more intelligent and likely has better self-control when put in stressful situations, which while those advantages are useful, the Scarlet Witch is just notably more powerful. And Zatanna, while being heavily respected by Dr. Fate, has never shown any scaling to where she should be on the same level as him. Now, keep in mind, if she does have any scaling like that and I'm just unaware of it, yeah, Zatanna's totally gonna win in that scenario, because Fate is just absurd. But based off what I have seen, I don't think that is the case, and therefore I will be going with the Scarlet Witch. Now, Mario, what do you think? Well, with Tenton's extreme bias over here, I have to ask, um, you know, an expert. All right, please welcome Boy Gamer on, you know, on screen. All right, boy, Gamber, speak your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah. You know, I didn't really consider that. All right, well, with boy, Gamber's help, I will be going for Zasana, especially since I'm dressed like her in the thumbnail. Is, is that it? Yep. So that's all the logic you want to use? Yep. Mario, ladies and gentlemen, give him, a, give him a round of applause, Mario. Well, that's what we think. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Tintun. In Magic Mario. Okay, seriously, we need to fix this. Oh, uh, oh, right. I activate you, magic spell. Uno Reverse! Yes, I'm a me again. Wait, you could have done that the whole time. Oh, yeah, simple counter spell. I just wanted to spite you.
Rude, but fair. Well, I'll see you later, Ten Ton. P.S. I might have sent some hate mail to Donkey Kong with your name on it. Okay, bye! Huh. Oh well, I'm sure nothing bad will come from this. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!